In this video, we're going to look at questions like these two. So at how to multiply or divide numbers when they have powers. The first thing to say though is that the rules that we're going to cover only work if the numbers involved both have the same base. For example, in this multiplication one, they both have a base of b. And in this division one, they both have a base of a. Whereas if we had a question like b cubed times c squared, we wouldn't be able to multiply them together because the bases of b and c are different letters. The easiest way to understand this topic is to think about what the powers really mean. If we start with this multiplication one, b cubed just means b times b times b, because the power of 3 means that we have 3 b's being multiplied together. Meanwhile, b squared just means b times b. And so if we multiply these two terms together, we're just going to have 5 b's being multiplied together, which is the same thing as b to the power of 5. So that's our answer. Instead of writing all of this out every time though, the shortcut is to just add together the two powers. So add together the 3 and the 2 to get 5 as our new power. And we can show the working out for this as b cubed times b squared equals b to the power of 3 plus 2, which equals b to the power of 5. It works in a pretty similar way for division a to the power of 6 divided by a to the power of 3 really just means a times a times a times a times a times a, so 6 a's multiplied together, divided by a times a times a, which is 3 a's multiplied together. And then to simplify that, we can just cancel out a's on the top and the bottom until we find that we'd only have 3 a's left on the top. And that tells us that our answer is a cubed. Again though, there is a quicker way to do this, which when we're dividing is to subtract the two powers. So for a to the power of 6 divided by a to the power of 3, we just write a to the power of 6 minus 3, which equals a cubed. Let's try a couple of questions now. So in this first one, we're doing x to the power of 7 times x to the power of 4. So because we're multiplying, we need to add the powers. So x to the power of 7 plus 4, which is x to the power of 11. This next one, 2 to the power of 7 divided by 2 to the power of 4, is a bit different, because the base is a number rather than a letter. But it works in exactly the same way. Because we're dividing this time, we have to subtract the powers. So 2 to the power of 7 minus 4, which is 2 to the power of 3. One extra thing we can do when the base is a number though, is to work out its exact value. So because 2 to the power of 3 is just 2 times 2 times 2, we can multiply them all together to find that the answer is 8. For this next one, a to the power of 9 times a to the power of minus 5, we again just add the powers. So a to the power of 9 plus negative 5, which is the same thing as a to the power of 9 minus 5. So a to the power of 4. Then for b cubed divided by b to the power of 8, we just do b to the power of 3 minus 8, which is b to the power of negative 5. And it doesn't matter that our power here is negative. That's absolutely fine. In this next one, we have three terms being multiplied together. But the technique that we use is exactly the same. We just add together all of the powers. So a to the power of 2 plus 4 minus 3, which overall gives us a to the power of 3. For p cubed divided by p, the p term looks like it doesn't have a power. But whenever you have a number or letter by itself, it really just has an unwritten power of 1. 
So we just do p to the power of 3 minus 1, which is p squared. One last thing to cover is that when you're doing questions like these, that involve multiplying or dividing terms that have both numbers and letters, you want to think of the numbers and letters separately. And remember that here, the powers only apply to the letters. So for 3a to the power of 5 times 4a cubed, you would do 3 times 4, which is 12 for our numbers, and times that by a to the power of 5 plus 3, so a to the power of 8. And that gives us an overall answer of 12a to the 8. Or for 8b to the power of 11 divided by 2b to the power of 5, you would do 8 divided by 2, which is 4, times b to the power of 11 minus 5, which is b to the power of 6. So your answer would be 4b to the power of 6. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So hope you found it useful. If you did, then please do give us a like and subscribe. And hopefully we'll see you again soon.